Would you trust an 80 amp industrial electrical connector from Timu? This is a UKK series connection box, UKK 80. And I have to say, visually, it's quite appealing. I'm pretty sure it's probably ripped off of another manufacturer. But it is a fairly basic-ish component used in panels that clips onto DIN rail in panels. And it's simply used as a commoning point for high current conductors and uh, for fanning out uh, a number of smaller conductors from those. And uh, if we pop this out, I shall pop the screwdriver under here and try and lever this up. Because if we pop it out and have a look at it, we can always grind it and see, is this brass? The, it claims to be brass. Part of the listing says copper. I'm more inclined to think brass, although copper would be a nice surprise. And it says that it's uh, tin-plated, but I will say that a magnet sticks, 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 sticks very weakly to it, very, very weakly. However, it does stick quite tightly to the screws, which pr are probably steel, but that's not unexpected. However, let's uh, give this a wee grind with a Dremel. This could make a bit of noise. I shall grind the bottom here, and we'll see what it's like underneath. It's looking... It's looking very brassy coloured under there. A very pale brass, but brassy nonetheless. It does look as though it is plated. I wonder if I went right through placing there. Hold on, I'm just... I know this is quite noisy. I'll just pause and I'll go a bit deeper. One moment. Yeah, that does look like a brass alloy. So, technically speaking, in a in your personal project, I'd never use something like this in an industrial panel. But for a personal project or an experimental panel, this actually looks not too bad. The These ports here, what size are they? Let's uh, measure this. 6.5 millimeter. They go all the way through, which is quite nice, but these ones uh, don't go all the way through, and they're about 4.8 millimeter in diameter. How deep are they? I can uh, just bottom this out. Hold on a second till I bottom this out and test this. So I'll zero out in that. And then try and plunge it down. I'll take that screw out completely, in fact. And plunge down into there. Uh, it's about 10 millimetres deep. Actually, it's not quite 10 millimetres deep. It's 9 millimetres deep, so that's fairly decent. It is almost right through to the other side there. Um, so yeah, I think to be honest, uh, given how simple it is, the only worry is, is it really a good brass? I, I don't get a strong magnetism to it. So I would say that, you know, there's a very good chance that for personal use, this would be acceptable. But as I say, I wouldn't necessarily want to trust anything other than industrial component from a proper industrial supplier for high current use. The casing... The flammability of that would be a concern. But having said that, if these are tightened down, then really the risk of flames is fairly low. But you've all seen the electrical panels still going fire with decent components, particularly with electrically sustained flames. Uh, it's quite nice that the lid goes down. You can actually still get a driver in, an uh, insulated driver, to actually check these are tight in situ. That's all right. Uh, interesting. It's quite neat. Um... But ultimately, the question is, would you trust something that costs £3 from Timu? And in reality, based on what I've seen, uh, I might not push it to 80 amps, but for other applications like power distribution in a personal control system, yes, I think I'd actually trust this. I think I'd actually consider using something like this.